Hey, this is Big Yard Court. Now, this is just a quick video because I finally fixed an issue that I've been having when separating the audio tracks in OBS. Uh, you see, what's been happening is I've been recording separate audio tracks and then when I go to play them back, uh, this is what happens. Okay, so I've got the game audio. I actually start talking around here, uh, but as you can see, not getting a damn thing, just game over. Okay. Now that was using the media player that actually comes with Windows 10. Um, I don't really watch a lot of video on my PC. Um, I really don't use it to play back recordings to see that I haven't made any mistakes um, before I edit them. Uh, so, so the Windows um, player that comes with Windows 10, that's that's basically been enough for me so far. But not being able to check both audio tracks is a bit of an issue. So, and, and let me just um, import it into, um, into Premiere so you can see. You can actually see that it's got both audio tracks there. So the top one is basically the track for the game audio and the bottom one is the track for um, the microphone audio, which is actually what I wanted. So first things first, um, need you to check to make sure that you've got the right audio setting set in OBS. Okay, so you go into settings. You've probably all got this, but you know, best to double check. Go to output and recording. You wanna have at least um, two audio tracks selected. So me, I've got the game audio on game one, on, on track one and the microphone audio on track two. Then click on the audio tab and you wanna have your input selected. So I've got it set up for the, um, for the sound card. So basically the speakers, because it, so most of the time I'm actually playing games um, with the audio coming out of speakers rather than headset. And I've also got one set up there for my headset as well. So I mean, I'm usually recording from one or the other. And um, the microphone is also set there as well. All right, so go OK. Now, if you right click in here and go to advanced audio properties, all right, so I've got um, track one, I've got uh, my two um, audio outputs selected, so my speakers and my headset, and then track two, I've got the microphone selected. So when it records, it will actually separate the audio. Now, to be able to play them all back, you actually need to install VLC Media Player, okay? now. If you open up VLC, actually play one of the tracks in there. So again, I start around here. Okay, so as you see, it's still just playing the game audio. If I right click, you can actually select audio track. So audio track, you can select track two. Check out at least one of my other videos. So this is just a test to see if it is going to record both my voice as well as the sound. As you can see, I'm not really paying much attention to the gameplay. See, so it does work, but you've got to select each one. Now, there is actually a little hack for um, VLC player to get to play both tracks. See, what you're going to need to do, so as you see, I've just closed VLC media player. If you just right click on the desktop and go to new and then create a new text document. Call it anything you want. I'll just call it a VLC multi track. Okay. Open it up. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add this information in the file. Okay. So, this part of the text that is basically just the location off your um, VLC player executable file, okay? Um, I don't install my programs on the C drive, I install it on a separate drive, so that's why I've got it as F. Um, you may have yours as C or another letter. So basically, you, you just want it to point to wherever you install your programs, okay? And then just put in 
you know, the rest of the text. So include everything, including, you know, basically from, from start to finish, include everything in there. Okay. Save the file. All right. And then you're going to want to rename the file. Basically, you're moving the .txt and change, replacing it with .bat. Okay, so click yes that you're sure. Okay, don't need to run the file once it's created. All you're going to do is you're just going to drag and drop the file that you've recorded onto it. And it will open up. Okay, so let's jump to where I did the voice recording. It was around there somewhere. Okay, so as you can see at the moment it's still only playing the game audio. Now if you right click and go to audio and audio track, let's say track two, then also and check out at least one of my other videos. So this is just a test to see if it is going to record both my voice as well as the sound. As you can see I'm not really paying much attention to the gameplay which is why I'm probably going to lose this, but let's see, let's see if I can do it, let's see, and um, that is it, so yeah, um, like I said, it was just a little quick video, um, hopefully you found it useful, and it will save you from deleting any, any video files that you think you may have, like, screwed up with the, um, with the audio capture, I know before I found out about this, I deleted a lot of videos, which were probably recorded properly, but, you know, they weren't playing back in the media player, so I thought I screwed up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you found it useful. Um, also, check out some other videos. And, you know, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because it really does help me out. Thanks for watching.